Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya. What's up everyone and welcome again to Scooter Kenzie channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new cooler from FlyDG. It is the new FlyDG Wasp Wing Pro. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Like what I said, we'll be talking about FlyDG Wasp Pro or Wasp Wing Pro. And this is a dual cooling fan that supports two modes. We will be doing, of course, unboxing of this new cooling fan from FlyDG. And we'll be testing this cooler if it works by playing one of the popular games in the mobile market now. We will not be testing many games and we will be only focusing on putting heat and performance on our phone. Our FlyDG cooler or the first version will be on our side for a little bit of comparison. And for the side-by-side -side performance, we will be doing it on another video to keep this video short. I will be using a Samsung Note 9 phone with a temperature monitor installed on my phone and we will see the CPU temperature in real time. And let's go to the unboxing. If you want to skip this section, you can click the shortcut below. Inside the box is our new FlyDG cooling fan. It is a bit heavy compared to our first FlyDG cooling fan. You can also notice that there is a thermal pad on this Pro controller or sorry, Pro cooler version along with our cooler is of course a text manual that is written in three or four different languages along with the manual and the cooler a USB-C cable is also included and lastly but not the least is a thermal pad replacement my impression with this new cooler is the build like what I said it is a bit heavy since it supports two cooling modes we have two buttons at the back of the cooler and they are the button switch for turning on and off and the other button is for the RGB lighting. Remember, there is no more fan level unlike before that we have three fan levels. It is also noting that we are now using a USB cable and there's a reason for that and we will discuss this in a matter of minutes. I mentioned earlier that this new cooler doesn't have fan levels and I noticed that this is actually quieter than the old cooler. And in the next clip, we will show you how loud each of the FlyDG cooling fans. And that's it. Of course, we will not know if louder fans will make your phone cooler. And we will find out in my next comparison video of the two FlyDG cooling gadget or fan. So please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Now let's go to our cooling modes. Like what I said earlier, this cooler supports dual cooling option. The first is the fan cooling mode that you can use if you're using your cooler without any external power. The next mode is the combination of a fan and a radiator cooling. This mode requires external power and that is the USB-C cable is for. It is for charging purposes and also for the radio cooling mechanism. Once you plug in a USB-C cable, the radio cooler kicks in or automatically kicks in and it will cool the thermal pad right away. In order to see how cool our thermal pad is, I used my temperature gun to check and it seems the pad's temperature is pretty cold. And I'm now excited to test our cooling options. So please bear with me as I test our phone without the cooler with the radio cooling on and with the only fan as a cooling device for our Note 9. 
On our test, we will be playing Mobile Legends in high settings mode, including the graphic settings, shadow effect, and the FPS or frame per second set to the highest value. You will also notice our temperature indicator on our phone screen that is now ranging around 31%. I am using a CPU monitoring app from the Google Play Store. In a couple of seconds, you will be noticing that our temperature is gradually increasing from 31% to 41 Celsius. Our final measurement when we play Mobile Legends with our Note 9 is around 39 to 41 Celsius. And you will notice that before I start another game, it already hit the 41 Celsius temperature. It is now time to put to test our FlyDG radiator cooler. Since we already have the base measurement, we will find out if this cooling mode is an effective method. The installation is actually easy and it is actually sturdy compared to the sucking cup of the non-pro cooling from FlyDG. As we start the game, please notice that we started around 37 Celsius and in just a matter of seconds, the temperature drops to 33. As I play the game, I notice that the phone is warm but not in any way irritating to hold. I can feel it as warm but actually the phone CPU's temperature is doing great as it hit 31 Celsius at some point. The temperature with the radiator cooler plays around 31 to 33 Celsius or we can say that we improve our phone temperature to 20 to 25%. For our very last test, we will play the same game without changing our settings, but we will take out our USB-C cable and we will force our cooler to use the fan mode option. Picking up the previous game, our temperature jumps from 32 Celsius to around 35 Celsius. From time to time, the temperature goes up to 37 Celsius and in the end, we ended up with 35 by using just the fan mode of FlyDG's Wasp Pro Cooler. In summary, it seems the new FlyDG Wasp Wing Pro with the radiator cooler is really working great. I like how silent the fan is and also a radiator cooling technology for your phone. I like how FlyDG managed to combine the fan cooling and the radiator cooling at the same time, but of course you need to have a separate power bank to power it. If you happen to play a lot of mobile games like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, and Fortnite, cooling fan is a must to preserve your phone's performance. Lesser heat means lesser thermal throttling. If you're planning to get this, please check the links below. And like what I said, please don't forget to click the subscribe button for more video like this.